so good afternoon uh, it's a pleasure to be here today with uh, architect uh, purva deshmukh uh, uh, who has just from india who has just defended uh, her master thesis uh, inside our specializing master beam manager uh, her thesis uh, 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 is uh, uh, about uh, uh, the refurbishment uh, of uh, uh, a, an hotel here uh, in, uh, in Milan. Uh, the title is uh, A Comparative Study of Adoption of Beam Methodology and the, uh, and the Conventional Design Approach for a, an Interior Refurbishment Project. And we are with Purva uh, to know something about her experience uh, in this specializing. Uh, so, my experience was overall great. Uh, oh, Purva, I... sorry, Purva, keep, keep uh, uh, the, the slides on uh, because then I will ask you to, to comment some of, some of them. Okay, okay. So, Perfect. yeah, my overall uh, experience was uh, great because uh, the curriculum, uh, curriculum of the course is quite great and it was genuinely very helpful in the professional uh, part as well at the time of internship. So uh, overall, I would say it was a great experience, but uh, as a feedback, I would uh, like to suggest one um, thing that uh, as the course cur curriculum is very uh, great, uh, it would be nice if the uh, course also starts in English because it will open doors to many students, many more students. So that would be. Uh, I know, I know, Purva. You, you are, you are, of course, you are right. Uh, you know, you know that uh, uh, um, uh, lessons uh, 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 are recorded uh, both uh, in Italian and in English. Uh, unfortunately, in the classroom, uh, yeah, we have to choose. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not yeah. visible. Uh, to do both uh, the, 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 the twice the lesson, both in Italian and in English. Uh, so yeah. uh, right now we, we are, we are uh, uh, dealing with uh, this issue uh, this way in the classroom, uh, your teacher speaks, speak Italian, uh, and then uh, yeah. they, they, they record uh, uh, the lessons also in, in English and uh, the recording of their uh, uh, English lesson uh, get, uh, get, uh, got uploaded uh, on our e learning e learning platform. Uh, maybe maybe in the future uh, we might we might we might consider to also uh, make make the lessons in the classroom uh, in, in English. Uh, and that's it. Also for for Italian mm -hmm. students. Uh, Right now, it's still uh, it's still uh, managed uh, this uh, this way, but, but who knows? Uh, it might be yes. a good a good suggestion. But I would say even the recorded translated uh, lectures are very clear and uh, it is quite explanatory. So there was not an issue, and I would uh, definitely suggest students to go for this course because the course curriculum is genuinely very. Uh, articulated and it helps a lot. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, would you then? Uh, I, I found it in, uh, in the second part of the specializing master. You've made an internship uh, in uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, an architectural firm, uh, which is uh, a partner of, of the master school, uh, and uh, you you have the chance to follow. Uh, the, the, the refurbishment of uh, an hotel uh, here in Milan, uh, and you have uh, chosen, uh, uh, rightly so, to use this uh, project as case study for your master thesis, uh, which I found yes. to be uh, quite interesting. Uh, would you then uh, please show us uh, some slides uh, from your presentation, those that you think are the most interesting? Oh, uh, sure. I would uh, go to the project itself to show you how the project was. This is the Media Hotel uh, in Milan itself. And this was the first phase. Uh, the first picture is the existing lobby area. And then this was a, the second one is the refurbished uh, lobby area. 
all this was the first phase of the refurbishment project and the second was uh, the refurbishment of the rooms and the corridors so this was one of the type of room uh, all the 3d were generated in revit uh, with the parametric uh, furnitures so this was the first floor uh, with 23 rooms as you can see here and then second one with was with the 92 uh, 69 rooms so in total there were 92 rooms definitely revit helped us uh, in the parametric modeling so yes this was the main 3d and then i would like to show some of the uh, furniture modules which we generated in 3d so yeah these are few of the models you can also three, see the three 3d image here in the below like this <laughs> So it was quite uh, beneficial for. I would say it was quite beneficial to use Revit for interior projects as well, <laughs> because yeah, the <laughs> parametric uh, modeling definitely helped for a large scale project like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, you, 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 in the last slides, uh, the one of uh, conclusion, uh, you all, you also pointed out. Uh, uh, some limitation of the use of, uh, of BIM, right? Yes, yes. So, um, I would say that was the, not huge limitations, but the small ones, because this uh, tool is not exclusively made for interior designers. Mm -hmm. But as the technology develops, it, uh, you can also find some other version which is exclusively for interior designer designers maybe uh, and also the second limitation which i i felt uh, specifically as because uh, it was quite difficult to decide to what extent should we model the uh, i mean generate the 3d model for interiors uh, for interiors because there was no uh, no not a specific framework uh, for us, but we still managed to use it for this kind of project. Also, there were uh, there was demand for uh, tech, highly technical uh, designers or mod modelers because all the softwares used, like the Revit and even the 4D soft uh, softwares and the 5D softwares, but are not as well known as AutoCAD. So that these were the three few limitations which which are my observations mm -hmm. yeah of course of course <laughs> for the project yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you thank you very much Bhuva. thank you uh, i know <laughs> thank that you. Uh, you, uh, you you are planning uh, to to go back uh, to to yeah. india right now uh, but uh, who knows uh, you have also told me that if you uh, receive uh, a good job offering uh, here in uh, in Italy. You might uh, take it uh, come back, yes. duration and come back. Yes. So uh, my wish to you, of course, uh, is that uh, the professional tools and the information that this master has tried to provide uh, might go on being useful for your professional career in the future. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.